curve y equals ax squared plus bx at the point 3 minus 3 is 5. Find the values of a and b. Okay, so you have to work out these values here in the equation of the curve. So look at the question and think, how can you use that information to form equations to then later solve to find a and b? I can see that we've been given this point here. Okay, when x is equal to positive 3, y is equal to negative 3. You could start by substituting those numbers into the equation of the curve. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do to start with. So I'm going to replace the letter y with negative 3. And I'm going to replace these two x values with positive 3. Okay, so now I'm just going to simplify. 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. So I have negative 3 equals 9a plus 3b. Okay, and if you like, you could also divide everything by 3 in this equation so that you have negative 1 equals 3a plus b. Okay, so this is our first equation with a and b. Now we're going to go back to the question again and look to see how we might be able to form a second equation. Okay, we're told that the gradient of the curve at this point is 5. Now, if you have to work out the gradient of a curve, you need to differentiate. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take the equation of the curve and I'm going to differentiate it. I'm going to work out dy by dx. Okay, because remember, this will give us an expression for the gradient of the curve. So to differentiate, you need to look at the power here, so positive 2 and multiply it with the coefficient here. So 2 times a is 2a. And remember, the power always decreases by 1. Okay, so 2 take away 1 is 1, so it's just 2ax. Then if we differentiate this term here, this is like bx to the power of 1. So 1 multiplied by b is b. And if this power here decreases by 1, we get x to the 0. But anything to the power of 0 is equal to the number 1. So b times 1 is just b. Okay, so it's just plus b. Now this gradient is equal to 5 at that point, 3 minus 3. So you need to take your value of x, positive 3, and substitute it into your expression here, and then put the expression equal to 5, as that is the gradient when x is positive 3. Okay? So substitute positive 3 in place of x, and the whole expression, because this is the gradient of the curve, is equal to 5, okay? And now I'm just going to simplify this. So 2a times 3 is 6a. So 6a plus b is equal to 5, okay? So that is our second equation with a and b, okay? I'm just going to rewrite those two equations up here. So I've got equation 2, 6a plus b equals 5. And equation 1 is 3a plus b equals negative 1. Okay, so I'm just solving the simultaneous equations to find a and b, and I'm going to use the elimination method, and I'm going to subtract these two equations. So 6a take away 3a is 3a. b take away b is 0. Okay, so I've eliminated the b's. And 5 take away negative 1 is the same as 5 plus 1, which is 6. And now I can solve this equation to find a. If I divide by 3 on both sides, I find that a is equal to 2. Okay? So there's the first unknown value. To find the value of b, you need to take your value of a, so 2, and substitute it into any of the equations. Okay? So let's say we take equation number 1. Okay? So 3a plus b equals minus 1. And we're going to change the letter a to 2. Okay? So instead of 3a, I've got 3 lots of 2, plus b equals negative 1. 3 times 2 is 6, so 6 plus b is equal to negative 1. And then to finish, you just have to subtract 6 on both sides, so that b is equal to negative 7. 